you won't believe what happened in the latest episode of Dancing with the Stars. This week was the highly anticipated Disney night, and you know how things get when they start with the iconic Disney characters and songs. It was a mix of nostalgia, spectacle, and drama, as always, but this time there were some moments that really stood out. Let me tell you all about it because there's so much to talk about, from unexpected mistakes to an elimination that, I swear, no one saw coming. First, the production team nailed it with the opening. Everything kicked off with Michael James Scott, who plays the genie in the Aladdin Broadway musical, singing A Friend Like Me, while the cast was killing it with an impressive choreography by Mandy Moore. You can't imagine the energy in the room. But of course, Judge Carrie and Anaba asked for no booing, just love and positive vibes all around. You know how she is, always wanting everything to be peaceful and harmonious. Now, let's talk about the celebrities. First up was Dwight Howard, the NBA champion, who danced with Daniela Karagak. Last week, poor Dwight nearly had a meltdown on stage from stage fright. This time, he had to perform a tango to a song from Wreck-It Ralph, and while the audience loved it, Carrie and wasn't as impressed. She told him that he did well, overcoming his nerves, but he made a bunch of mistakes and got off beat several times. They scored him 24 out of 30, which isn't bad, but it's not amazing either. Next was Phaedra Parks, remember her from The Real Housewives of Atlanta? She was paired with Val Schmarkovsky, and apparently, Val was tough on her during rehearsals. Phaedra even called him abrasive, but it helped her tap into her evil side for their jazz routine. They danced to Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. And what can I say? Judge Derek Hoff loved it, saying it looked like a Broadway show. But despite how well they did, scoring 24 wasn't enough because the competition is fierce this season. Jen Tran from The Bachelorette and her partner Sasha Farber also had their moment. They performed a rumba to kiss the girl from The Little Mermaid. Sasha even joked about how he started on the show dressed as a crab, which would have been funny if he'd done it again. But in the end, Derek told Jen she was improving but needed to work on her hip movements. Another 24 for the night. Now, let's get to the Olympians. Steven Nadorisic, the gymnast who competes in Pommel Horse, hadn't had a spray tan yet, can you believe it? But he finally got one for his jive inspired by Hercules. Although the audience clapped for him, Carrie and said he was a bit ahead of the music, so he also ended up with 24 points. Then there was Alona Marr, an Olympic rugby player who danced a jazz routine with Alan Burson. It was epic! She started with a giant earth balloon, then lifted Alan like a doll, and he was dressed as a donkey. It was a reference to Luisa Madrigal from Encanto, and Alona really got into character. Derek said she's always a crowd favorite because she's so charismatic, but she needed to balance storytelling with dancing. Even so, she scored 25 points, which is pretty good. Joey Grazide from The Bachelor also had his moment. He had always wanted to play a shirtless Tarzan on TV, and he finally got his wish. He danced the samba dressed like the jungle man himself. Bruno, the funniest judge, told him that the samba is one of the hardest dances but that he pulled it off. Joey also got 25 points. Then came Danny Amendola, a Super Bowl champion, who refused to dress up as any Disney character. Instead, he and his partner Whitney Carson danced jazz to Bye 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 in sync from the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. The choreography was like a fight scene from the movie but with a funny twist. Bruno told him he should pitch the idea to Ryan Reynolds for a Deadpool musical. And guess what? Danny scored 27 points, definitely one of the best performances of the night. Then we had Chandler Kinney, from Pretty Little Liars, Original Sin. She was frustrated because last week the judges told her to dig deeper. So this time, she channeled that frustration into her Paso Doble to We Own the Night from Zombies, a Disney movie. Carrie and said Chandler had proven her wrong and delivered a powerful performance. And with that, Chandler also earned 27 points. Oh, and guess what? Chandler earned immunity for next week because she's had the highest average scores over the last six weeks. Not bad, huh? To wrap things up, they had the team dance round. There were two groups, Team Roar, with Dwight, Steven, Phaedra, and Danny, Dance Do I Just Can't Wait to Be King from The Lion King. Although they pulled off some cool stunts, the judges pointed out that they weren't always in sync, and they scored 24 points. The other group was Team Goofs, with Alona, Chandler, Jen, and Joey. What a difference! They were dressed in neon green jumpsuits and short shorts, dancing to eye to eye from a goofy movie. Derek said their performance was tight, clean, and well-rehearsed, and they scored 27 points, winning the round. So, with all the scores tallied, it was time for the results, the bottom three were Phaedra Parks, Jen Tran, and Steven Nadorisic. 
and the one sent home was... Phaedra Parks. Yep, the Real Housewives star is out. Val, her partner, was super grateful, and Phaedra said he had been the best coach, but we kind of knew her time was up. So, there you have it. It was a night full of emotions, costumes, Disney songs, crazy choreography, and an elimination that left many surprised. Honestly, the next few weeks are going to be even more dramatic, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Are you going to watch next week too? This show just keeps getting better.